Hello and welcome back to my farm. Today's video is part of my new playlist, the expansion, and I'm going to be opening up this area of land with the help of many of my friends. Now, what am I going to need? Well, I'm going to need these kinds of expansion materials, and I'm going to need a lot. So, deeds, mallets, and stakes. And depending on which area I choose to open, for example, this one here, depends on the required amount you're going to need. Now, once you do open it up, there are trees, rocks uh, in the way. Now, you have the choice. You can leave them there, or you can chop them down. So, for example, the small trees need axes, the larger trees need saws, the big bigger rocks need TNT and the smaller ones need dynamite. But the choice is yours. Please be very, very careful about how you remove these because maybe you want to leave some of them there. Now, what am I going to need? Well, as I said, I'm going to need lots of expansion materials these ones. Now some of them I can get myself through playing, some of them I can't. And I've actually asked my friends to help me out here. And this playlist is going to be me thanking them and showing off their farms and also expanding this area at the same time. Until finally I can open this whole area up and redesign it the way that I imagine it's going to be now. Still, that's enough about me and what I want to do. You've got a basic understanding about land expansion. You know what's involved. Let's have a look at the people who have helped me out. Now, here I am at Jack's farm. Now, I kind of like what he's done with some areas here. But before we look at that, let's find out about what he has done so far within the game. Now, he's a level 45 player. And basically, he has served so many trucks in one day. And as you can see from looking here, it's a maximum of 45. So cool, 45 trucks in one day, that's pretty good. 400 visits in one day, nice. Maximum revenue, 49,377, that's not bad. And a followers count of six there. Now, I'm sorry, I can't show you the likes because I haven't updated to the latest fix that should have fixed the like count. But uh, once I've done that, then I will rectify the amounts within the game. Now, he's in this neighborhood, and it's called the Big Happy Family UK. They've got places for four more people, and it's open to anyone. Now, they won their last derby. Now, what they did before that, I don't know. But if you would like to join, the minimum level is 30. So send them a request. They've got all of these people in there. And basically, my friend here is in that neighborhood. And please do send them a request. There he is, he's just a member. Okay, let's come out of that and let's have a look. Now if I zoom out on his farm, we can see the way he's laid it out. For as example, you can see you've got the machines in the background there. He's got an interesting step going up to the dock, and it looks like a really nice wall design there for the entrance. And I do like that a lot. He's used a single piece of wall with the nectar bushes to create a really interesting pattern. And I think that's quite cute. I, I, I like that a lot. That's really, really good. Yeah, that's nice. Now, if we uh, zoom back out again, you can see that step that I like. You also see the way he's boxed off his land with some path going around. Again, that's an interesting design. Now, this is going to be a good thing about this playlist. You actually get to see what these people's uh, farms and towns look like. So again, you can start getting some ideas. Now, not everyone's going to be of a higher level, so they can only have a certain amount of machines. Now, my level's much higher, my friend here's 45, so he's limited by the kinds of machines you will see on his farm, and that's the same for yourself. Okay, wherever I go, I will see the toolboxes just sitting there. Sometimes I will open them and see if I'm lucky, sometimes not. He's got the four smelters. Okay, I think that's a good balance. Having five is okay, but again, the choice is yours. Now, I do like what he's doing here. Now, he's gradually opening up his own area of land, but he's picking and choosing. Now, I wish I'd kind of done this when I first started and kind of dug my way in and left myself with a more interesting pattern or design. Now, I do wish to a certain extent that I could keep these walls that we're actually seeing around this land. It would be wonderful to actually be able to put that back into the game. But we don't have that option. But if you want to keep those designs, then 
do not free up those areas. Okay, right, that's his basic farm. Now, we've got two other locations we can jump to and have a look. One's going to be his town, and I'll do that in a second, and one's going to be his farm. Oh, sorry, his fishing area. Ah, he's got exactly the same number of uh, pens as I have. Cool. Okay, let's go to his town and see what he's got. Now, even though he's a level 45, maybe he has opened up his town to a certain extent where he's got it really nicely decorated. Or maybe not. Maybe he's still working on this area as well. So once we zoom out here, you'll see that he is. So his beach area, he's not touched at all yet. Uh, ah, that's unlucky. Nothing there in the chest. Now, he has started working on the town area. So you'll notice there that he's opened up that top left-hand side and he's working his way down. Okay, he's not upgraded his personal train yet, so he's still got a bit of work to go there. Now, maybe for himself, okay, this is a long haul. Finding the maps these days is not so easy either. And when you do need land expansion materials, okay, they are actually quite hard to come by. So I was really grateful for the amount that he gave me. Now, if anyone else would like to participate in this playlist and support me, please do so. Whether it's just the one item or a lot more, I don't mind. But either way, you will still be getting your farm and all your towns and fishing areas added to this playlist for everybody to see. And I will pay you full price or base price or even one coin. The choice is yours. I will even trade with you. I don't mind. Now this is his fishing area, so let's just close his fishing book for the moment and see what he's done. Now he's opened up uh, four spots it looks like, so the waterfall, the top two are usually open and then there's the third one as well. So he hasn't opened up any of the other spots at all yet. Now I'm assuming because they're not all open, okay, maybe he hasn't caught so many fish yet, but we will see. Now at some stage he's going to need more expansion materials to do this. So. But before we talk about that, let's have a look through his fishing book. Okay, he's got all the copper red horses, nice, some of the roaches. Yes, okay, actually he has done quite well. He's got a lot of the basic fish and some of the other ones as well. Okay, that's quite good. But I wonder, does he have the event fish? Has he been lucky to catch any of those yet as well? Let's scroll through and see. Okay, not that dissimilar to what I'm seeing within my own fishing book, actually. I have a few more that he's missing, but basically... Okay, he's only got the one event fish, so he still needs to do quite a few more fishing events. Uh, but once he does, it's a great way to expand and get more diamonds. He's opened up so his uh, lobster pool, which is good to see as well. So, great! That means I can go to him if I need fillets as well. Right, now we're going to be jumping back to his farm again, and I'm going to be saying thank you very much, sir, for your assistance and help in this. Right, now we're jumping to another friend. So this is my friend Rainbow's Lands. And again, he has provided me with expansion materials, but let's have a look at his information. So he's a level 48, most truck deliveries in one day, 61, most visits in one day, 1,241, and look at that road shop maximum revenue. So, 1,033,335. Oh, That's not bad either. Following count 10, and it should be zero likes, yes. I wonder how many likes these guys have actually got. I really do need to update to the latest update. But enough about me. Now, which neighborhood's he in, I wonder? Is he in a good one or a bad one? I happen to know that he's in a wonderful one. That's right, you guessed it. It's my neighborhood. Now, I'm sorry my neighborhood is full up, so we can't take any new people at the moment. But if you notice my name there is Red Knights, if you do search on that, you can find the fan groups and they're always after people as well. Now I'm very jealous. Look at that. He has four of them. Oh my god, is he so lucky. And I will zoom into that later. Now I like the way he's got his machines all over in one area. He's got his pets up there at the back. And he's got some nice clumps of bushes and trees all together throughout his farm.
There's a lot of design space and potential here as he expands his farm. I can see him adding a lot more trees and bushes in and maybe later being a little bit more creative. Personally, I think he needs to add some more trees uh, and then once he's got those trees in place, he can start harvesting those as well. The only downside is you're going to need a lot of saws and then that means he's better off hiring Tom and then hopefully uh, getting some saws that way. Still, he's got a lot of potential there, not so much uh, left to open up as well, which is quite nice. Let's jump to his town and see how he's going. Now, looking at his town, we can see that he's done some things. Like, ooh, I wonder if we're going to look at a big design here. Okay, no. What my friend has done here is started off his town hall pathway and purchased some of those paving slabs with coins. Now, we all know that the more you buy, it becomes more expensive. You've just noticed as well that my trains moved into his town. Now, that's because we we're in the same neighborhood. Now, if I pick up any passengers, then they will then go to my town, or I can just leave them. But I clicked it, and there's nothing there. As you can see, he's got all of his buildings in the one area. He's not started expanding any of the outside at all yet, which is fine. Basically, until you are ready, just leave that expansion area alone. Don't touch it until much, much later. Use your expansion materials within the farm. Get that area opened up first. And there they are. Don't they look beautiful? I'm so jealous. I have two, but not quite the four. Right, now I'm jumping to another farm. This is another friend of mine. Now, let's see if I can get this on. So, the Scramfield is the name. And he's a level 45. And 35 truck deliveries in one day. 447 visits. 26,322 is the max revenue. Six followers and zero likes there. Okay, right, let's zoom on out and see how he's going. But first things first, let's do the neighborhood. Now, he's in Lick... Arbaum, Lickabaum. Ooh, that sounds interesting. They haven't won anything yet because there's only six members in that group. Required level is 29 and please request to join. There's the one leader and all members. So it looks like we need to get some more people promoted within that group. Otherwise, it can be very challenging for the tasks. So I do hope, sir, that you get promoted to at least an elder or co-leader. Otherwise, it's very, very challenging. But if you do want to join that neighborhood, there's lots of vacancies. Now, what do I like about his uh, farm? Now, I do like the fences. I do like the path pattern that I've got here. So if you see where he's got the path going from the dock to the barn in background to where the machines are I think this is actually quite nice I like this idea and I can see at some stage in the future maybe going to be adding some trees and bushes just to hide that a little bit but still to give it an interesting design he's bordered off his farming land area and again used some of the pathways for that now I think it's very compact, it's quite nice and very useful but this point here is my favorite I like what he's done with the smelters He's kept it simple with two smelters and the jewelers, nice little paving slabs uh, coming from the mine back out, and I do think that's very, very good. Again, he's opened up some of the land and he's left uh, some key areas still there in the center. These parts over the back he started on, but he's got a long way to go yet before he's actually finished. Now, there is no rush. You can just leave this there. Now, sometimes I do wish that there were more trees on this land because it does look a bit bare and it does make you want to get to it quite quickly. Now, maybe that's an option, Super So, in the future that you actually could basically fill that air up a lot more. Right, now we're going to jump to his town and see what he's done here. And I wonder how it's going to look. Okay, it looks like he's kept all of his buildings in the one area. Now, he doesn't have all of the buildings yet, so obviously he's not high enough in this area. But what he has done is expanded round the back there, and I do like that. It looks like he's created a partial hiking trail going behind the buildings, and I wonder where it's going to go. Hmm... 
Right, now he's also using the pathway to actually go up to the buildings, which is pretty good as well. The beach is not quite done, so there's more expansion possibilities there later. Now I can see that he's one of the buildings missing, so we can guess what kind of level he's at the moment. Now, as he progresses more within the town and does more, he will increase that, get more buildings, and hopefully decorate it. So maybe that's why he's not put too much in that area. Now, let's go and have a look at his fishing area. What's he got? Now, I know for a fact that he's only got the three fishing spots open, so let's close that off and have a look. And there they are, three spots, the top one and the two others gleading down from the boathouse. Now, I wonder, does he have a lot of fish? Has he been able to do any of the fishing events? Having only three spots must make it really difficult because the cooldown period is still quite long and with only three spots done there's only so much you can catch especially if you're doing lobsters at the same time now maybe lobsters are not such an issue let's have a look fishing book okay he's done some of the main fish there it's not a problem okay looks like he has been able to do some fishing one blank there so far there's a second okay right. okay i take it back he's been very very active in the fishing area so i would assume then basically once one fishing spot is open he's back there catching that fish again but let's have a look at the event fish oh yes he's a strong participant in the fishing events i like that just two event fish not been caught out of all of those cool Okay, still quite a lot of uh, things to do within the fishing area then, but he's still very, very active. It's good to see that even with only the three spots, he's still able to catch quite a lot of fish. Okay, jumping back to his farm so I can say goodbye him, and then we're going to go to one more location in this video anyway. And who is going to be the lucky person, I wonder? Who was the other one that actually donated to me? Let's find out and see. So, Scranfield, goodbye, and hello, Matty. Now, this is another friend of mine, Matty. Let's see what he's got. He's a level 48, 33 track deliveries in one day, 496 visits, and 44,213 revenue, and six followers count. <coughs> Let's zoom out and see what he's done to his farm. Now, later on, you'll focus a little bit more on the house. I actually do like the way he's got that. That's quite nice. Okay, he's put nice hedge borders around all of his machines. That must have cost quite a bit of coinage. Mm, okay, interesting. nice little box pattern for all of them now personally it's not something i would personally do i don't kind don't like that myself but for the moment it's okay all the styes are in the one area okay four machines for making metal bars that's good okay he's got his pets over in the corner there lots of land still opened up oh sorry unopened okay now this i do like Nice, neat rolls where he's keeping his trees and bushes together so you know where you've got to go when you want something. Must make it so much easier when you're harvesting just to go straight up and down the screen. Okay, rest of the crops are done again in rows. That's pretty good. But this is what I do like the most. You've got the barn there just at the back, a hedgerow around the farmhouse, your back toilet, a few flowers, nice pathway leading off, and a swimming pool. That actually does look very good. And I think that's probably the best part of the whole farm design itself. Now, these little individual things that I'm picking up as I'm looking through people's farms, I hope they do give you lots of ideas as well. Okay, yes, the initial video is about the expansion materials, but it's also more important for me to actually talk about my friends' farms here than their towns and then their fishing areas, because I also want you guys out there who are watching this to pick up some ideas. Okay, let's jump to his town and see what he's done here. Has he spent any effort or resources in this area? Zooming out. Okay, all the buildings are in the center. And there are a couple of spots that have been opened. Uh, okay, but 
nothing much else okay train still needs repairing okay everything's very simple stuck in the one location which is good uh, still one more building to get there beat still needs doing and the treasure chest is unlocked okay nothing really much to talk about little bit of decoration down there by the station uh, oops that was a mistake wasn't intending to press the people okay let's jump back to his farm and move on over to his fishing area now what's he done in his fishing area maybe that's being a bigger priority let's have a look see shall we okay close that fishing album and zoom on out whoa he has done so he's opened up quite a lot of the fishing spots so matty's main focus has been his fishing area not his town i like that now this is one thing I do recommend everybody, opening up the fishing area. It's really, really useful for the resources and for the events. Plus during the themed periods of the game, you're actually getting some nice prizes from the ghosts or the chicken that are actually going across the water or even the fireworks. Okay, he's caught a lot of fish, uh, but how's he done in the events, I wonder? Has he participated well in that? Okay, still lots of fish to be caught. So the areas have been open, but there's lots of blank spaces there. So come on, Matty, start making the lures and start doing some fishing. You've opened this area up. Let's start using it a little bit more. Right, now I'm coming to the end of this video. And I'd like to say thank you to all of these gentlemen for actually helping me with my project of expanding across the road. Now I'm going to be making another video later as I get more resources or as more people help me. And if you would like to participate in this video playlist and help me out, please do let me know. Thank you very much. It's been good. See you all next time.